Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, depending on what time you're watching this. We at the Insight team wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you once again for tuning in to watch our show. We pray that this message meets you well in Jesus' name. My name is Melvin Shadu and I'll be your host for this evening. Insight is a program designed to educate, encourage and bring deeper understandings to issues that affect our community and wider society. Um, today I have with me um, our sister from our charity team, CCC Amazing Grace Parish, uh, Sister Bukayo. You're welcome, Ma. Thank you. And our topic today is homelessness. Homelessness is something which affects our communities. There are different types of homelessness. There are rough sleepers and there are sofa surfers. Uh, the homeless people, which are the rough sleepers, are the ones that maybe the local authority don't have any accountability for them, meaning they don't know that they are homeless. Then the sofa surfers, um, who are possibly staying at their aunt's, sleeping on their aunt's sofa or their, their friend's sofa, or you know, just even finding their cars to sleep in. These are people that may be registered homeless. And we want to just stretch out our arms to them and show them love. No one deserves to go through that by themselves. I have here with you um, already introduced uh, Sister Bukayo, who's part of the charity team, and she's going to let us know what we did with our local charity. Thank you, Brother Melvin. As part of our commitment to our charity, um, CISHGP Naples Connect, we contacted Crisis, and this is a charity organization designed to or created to meet to house people during the Christmas period. No one deserves to be homeless during this this time. It's a very crucial time in everyone's life. Hence the reason why we contacted Crisis, and we intend to work with them for a very long time. So we packed 100 amperes okay. and we went to um, the centers. I think they have about two around Sodok or Pemonze area. So the team went round to deliver this on a Sunday morning. Um, going forward, we are looking into working fully with this crisis team because we do understand the pain of an agony of being an homeless. We've got people close to us, people in our church, or one way or the other family that have experienced homeless, homelessness. And to be honest with you, it's not a journey to be to be um, alone in. You do need someone there. You do need someone to look up to when you're homeless. It's not a nice journey. It's a terrible experience. And um, so we, we, in future, and with grace by next year, December, we're looking to use our, our, our premises okay. to house people, work closely with crisis to ensure that this place is used as a shelter during those festive periods to keep people in, to have hot meal, to have activities, to have that family feel that everyone deserves to have during this period. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, going back to the hampers, what was in the hampers? What, can, what did they receive from well, it's the charity team? Varieties of things, that necessities. Okay. Things like gloves, okay. hats, scarves, and many more things that, you know, we need. We need as an individual to keep us warm during this period. Okay. As you can tell, the weather is going minus. Some homeless people can't even afford to wrap themselves very well. So these are the things that we looked into. We also worked closely. We didn't just go to the market to do this shopping. We worked closely with a um, charity called Ropes, based in Sadok, and we, we tapped into their experience of working with homeless people. So they told us what we need to include on our shopping list. And that was what we did and wrapped and delivered to the um, crisis center. Okay, Sister Bagao, if somebody is homeless, what should they do, depending on their situation? All right, depending, like, depending on their situation, if a vulnerable adult is homeless, um, every local authority have duty of care under the CARE Act like 2014. They have, they have 
um, there is also an homelessness ad which is at homelessness at 2002 okay. which um, confer on the local authorities a responsibility to ensure that people are housed safely so if you or anyone you know is suffering from homelessness and they are adults they need to be contacting their local authority on their care act and if it is a family with children children act 1989 also confer on local authority the responsibility to ensure that children are housed safely so you do need to contact your social service the social service department of any local authority must respond to this and if you do need help on how to make this homelessness application please contact our charity we are here to help you we we'll definitely help you to put it in fantastic right so you heard the insight if you're homeless you're not alone and we pray that you know next year the year the years beyond that we will continue to stretch out to our brothers and sisters that are homeless i hope that you've enjoyed the show um, merry christmas again and we're wishing all of our viewers a happy new year thank you God bless.